Number 21. Pedro Zamora Having known since he was in high school he was HIV positive has let Pedro Zamora speak out with his condition and become a spokesman for living a life even with a positive diagnosis. He still travels to speak and has appeared in various venues. His T-cell count dropped after developing complications. Number 20. Rock Hudson, 1985 30 years ago, Rock Hudson came out and admitted that he was HIV positive when the world knew this was a problem for only gay men, those who were unlucky enough to get tainted blood or were drug users. Number 19. Bill Goldsworthy Many times, the diagnosis of HIV will drive people to continue bad habits, like Bill Goldworthy's drinking. As the first hockey player to be diagnosed with AIDS, he wanted to make this a non-sexual issue and the gossip continues years after his death. Number 18, Jim Bullock, 1996. Too Close for Comfort star, currently working with Glee, Jim has been lucky. He is one of the 5% where the HIV virus lies dormant and has had few health problems with this infection. But this hasn't stopped the disease from affecting his life. A long-time lover died of AIDS. Number 17, Tim Richmond. NASCAR driver and seen in the Stroker Race movie with Burt Reynolds, Tim Richmond may well have been HIV positive when he proposed to his fiance. He may have been infected as far back as the late 1970s, but with the incubation period of the virus was not diagnosed until 1986. Number 16, Dave Brindle. The first Canadian news anchor to admit to being HIV positive back in the 1980s when HIV and AIDS were death sentences. He was a guest speaker at the Canadian AIDS Society's 2009 World AIDS Day. He hosts his own radio show. Number 15, Easy e 1995. Even after his death, rumors about the way Easy e became infected, as well as his seemingly rapid progression to AIDS, abound. His infection and death brings a caution to those who think this disease can be beaten. Number 14, Freddie Mercury, 1991. Living his larger-than-life persona, Queen singer Freddie Mercury shocked his fans by succumbing to AIDS soon after his condition was announced. His bandmates set up an AIDS charity, the Mercury Phoenix Trust, after his death. Number 13, Robert Reed. Remembered as dad on The Brady Bunch, among his other credits, Robert Reed's HIV sped his death from colon cancer along. He lived to show that the diagnosis was not going to define who he was as a person, a worthy goal for anyone. Number 12, Denholm Elliott. Living to age 70, this British character actor kept his condition secret for years. He may be best remembered for roles in movies from They Who Dare to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Number 11, Tom Fogarty. Contracting HIV from blood transfusions to deal with a back problem, CCR guitarist had a well-known breakup with his brother, and they never were able to reconcile completely, even with such hits as Proud Mary and Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Number 10, Howard Rollins. Nominated for a Best Supporting Actor Emmy in 1982, his presence on the soap Another World led him to parts that echoed his initial appearance in Ragtime. His HIV-positive status led to a death by lymphoma. Number 9. John Curry Dead at age 44, John Curry was the 1976 Olympic champion who combined ice skating and ballet, bringing a new level of skill to the rink. He returned to England from New York after diagnosis and wanted people to speak out about being HIV positive to demystify the diagnosis. Number 8. Amanda Blake To prove that this isn't a men's disease alone, Amanda Blake, older folks may remember her from Gunsmoke, whose official cause of death is throat cancer, was HIV positive, and her husband also was HIV positive. Number 7. Kevin Peter Hall Becoming HIV positive after a car accident in 1991 required blood transfusions, this popular actor played in roles from Harry and the Hendersons to Predator, as well as appearing on various TV shows. At 7 foot 2 inches, he was a distinctive character. Number 6. Robin Crosby in an interview, Robin said he wanted to help avoid anyone from going through the trauma of finding out they were HIV positive. His condition may have affected his system, and the weight shift and stress from the disease never stopped him from being a real human being. Number 5. Isaac Asimov Ten years after his death, his wife revealed that a blood transfusion during a heart bypass was a major cause of the writer's death in 1992. A supporter of the LGBT community back in the 60s, it is ironic that the doctors wanted to hide his condition. Number 4. Gia Karanji 
Popularized as the world's first supermodel, she was diagnosed with HIV in 1985. Going from working at her father's restaurant to being on the cover of Vogue in the US, Britain, France, and Italy proved that fame and fortune, nor the drugs and lifestyle, will not help avoid HIV. Her lifestyle, which included taking risks that few today would, helped her career falter and led to her being abused and on the streets in her later life. Number 3. Holly Johnson, 1991 Frankie Goes to Hollywood frontman is also coping with a side effect of his HIV. He has developed diabetes and is amazed that 23 years after diagnosis, he is still alive. This is a tribute both of the newer medications and his ability to cope with the condition. Number 2. The newest member Charlie Sheen In order to stop the wild stories about his condition, Charlie Sheen wrote a letter and appeared on TV to announce that he is HIV positive. He has made the effort to take the medication and his blood now shows no signs of the virus. Number 1. Magic Johnson, 1991 Turning 56, after having been publicly HIV positive for 24 years, Magic Johnson has hit an age that many thought impossible. With the new medications and a commitment to taking them, most people who are HIV positive live with the knowledge that this is not a death sentence.